issued from the Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion is Healthy People 2020. What is Healthy People 2020? Well, I'm glad you asked. Healthy People 2020 is a nationwide program of health promotion and disease prevention, 10-year goals set by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. That sounds good. When did that start? Established in 1979, Healthy People was initiated in response to emerging consensus between health authorities and scientists that national health priorities should emphasize disease prevention. For three decades, Healthy People has established benchmarks and monitored progress over time in order to encourage collaborations across communities and sectors, empower individuals to make informed health decisions, and to measure the impact of prevention activities. In 2020, several new topics were added to Healthy People one of which was the topic older adult and we'd like to talk to you about objective OA10 and that is to reduce the rate of pressure ulcer related hospitalizations among older adults. But why is it important to the whole country? That is important because according to the Agency for Healthcare and Research Quality in 2007 there was over 985 pressure also related hospitalizations per 100,000 older adults over 65. Our objective is to reduce that number by 10% by 2020. We're going to review ways you, the caregiver in the long term setting, can prevent pressure ulcers and help HP 2020 OA10 be successful. Let's look at what pressure ulcers are and why they develop. Oh my god. I cannot believe what she's wearing. Check that out. Oh my god. What the <laughs> I know. Dang, look at this dude. Look at those pecs. Oh my, well that's definitely not what I'm looking at, but <laughs> let me just tell you, I would not mind changing his brief. <laughs> I hear you. Wow. Excuse me, ladies. I'm uncomfortable. Please come change me. I need to be changed. We'll be right with you. We'll be right with you. Just a few minutes. I'm, I'm going to put my collar on. Well, I'll be right there, Miss Lily. Oh, my God. But, ladies, I need to be changed now. Check it out. Jiminy Cricket, can't you hear me? Okay, okay, Miss Lily, I'm sorry. Did you need me? Yes, I need to be changed. I'm what? Oh, okay, did something happen? I peed. L Miss Lily, you possibly can't be wet. We just changed you four hours ago. But I feel what? Oh, it's just hot. You're I think it's probably just the moisture. Ow. All right, let me just get this call out away from you. You don't need that. You overuse that for sure. All right. Don't take my light away. No, Miss Lily, it's just hanging. Excuse me, ladies. I'm really uncomfortable and my elbow really hurts. Can you come and look at it, please? Yeah, honey, we'll be right with you. Just give us a few minutes. But ladies, I think I need to be changed too. And my elbow actually really hurts. Lily, you can't possibly be wet. We just changed you about four hours ago. It's probably also because it's hot out. Anyways, it's time to our break. Wanna go? Yeah, let's go. Let me just tweet something real quick. All right, let's go. But aren't you going to clean me? Oh, don't Gosh. worry. You're you're in a sterile. It's all right. You're okay. doesn't look too good. Pressure ulcers are areas of skin that break down due to prolonged pressure on the skin. Now let's take a look at how we as caregivers can prevent them. Hi Mrs. Prize, I come to check your brief and reposition you. Okay, you can check my brief, but I'm pretty sure it's dry. Okay. Well, well we'll just make sure. Okay, Mrs. Perez, is that fine? That's fine. All right. Yep, you're right, you're dry. So we're gonna turn you from your right side to your back now, okay? Okay. So we're just gonna lift up the bed. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to take this pillow, go ahead and lift this leg. Oh, honey, I was comfortable like this. Oh, oh we know you're comfortable, Mrs. Perez. Uh, but it's very important for us to um, change your position every two hours. Um, that way we can get blood flowing to your tissues and you don't get like an ulcer or something. A um, pressure sore. Oh, it is? Yeah. You mean if I don't get turned, my muscles don't get any blood? Well, not enough to nurse the tissues. The pressure reduces the amount of blood that can get through. Thank goodness I have you ladies to help me. I wish I was of more help. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, so, you know, we turn you and um, what we're going to do is going to look for any areas that if we see any redness, um, if it's warm in that area, we're going to keep an eye on it. So that's the reason why we have to turn you to make sure we don't have those problems. Okay? Okay. And you have your part to do, Mrs. Perez. Um, a very important part of preventing pressure ulcers is staying hydrated. So it's important for you to drink plenty of fluids, okay? Oh, I try to limit my fluids. That way I don't have to be changed so often. Oh, don't worry about that. It's our job to make sure that you stay clean and dry. Um, proper fluid intake is important for your health. Um, so make sure that you drink enough fluids so that whenever, if you need to go to the bathroom, we'll take you, but it's good for your overall health and your tissues, okay? Is there anything else I could do besides drink more water? Yes, another important part of preventing skin breakdown is nutrition. So you want to make sure when you get your meals that you're eating an adequate amount. Okay, and we'll make sure that we bring your, your meal in soon, okay? Um, and it's also important for you to eat nutritious um, foods every day, and that will help you so that you don't get an ulcer. Um, enough protein to help with the healing process. Um, protein is good for you, your greens, uh, your veggies, and your fruits, okay? Oh, thank you so much, ladies. I'm so glad I have you to help me. You're so welcome. You're welcome. Your call your call is there. I'm gonna put you back down, and you call us if you need anything, okay? Are you comfortable? Yes, honey. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome there. So we'll see you again. Right. Bye, Mrs. Press. Thank you, ladies. So remember to prevent and reduce pressure ulcer related hospitalization. Diligent effort is required on behalf of the caregivers that care for the older adult patients. Caregivers play a vital role in caring for this age group. They are responsible for turning patients once every two hours or as ordered by the doctor, provide excellent skin care and perineal care, ensure the patient is eating a balanced diet of protein, fruits, veggies, and healthy fats, and that the patient is also drinking enough water. When these needs are not met, the patient becomes vulnerable to skin breakdown, which can lead to hospitalization and death if not treated in a timely manner. Resources are important for nursing staff, so some resources we put together for you are social workers, home health agencies that can evaluate client living condition and ability to determine any learning barriers, local hospitals for education classes, and ongoing education for CNAs and nurses. Don't forget to get your CEUs. Community programs, um, local clinics like Sansom here in town uh, offer plentiful information online as well as in the community. And some topics that they cover include how to protect skin and various interventions. Also, there is the American Geriatric Society Health and Aging Foundation, educating caregivers and clients on pressure ulcer care and prevention. I don't know what I'm doing. 2020. What is healthy people? <laughs> We're not going to look at her elbow. That sounds good. When did that start? Established in 1979. <laughs> I said that totally wrong. Well, I'm glad you asked. Healthy People 2020 is the nation's right Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had one. <laughs> Blueprint number one. Completed. <laughs> Hospitalizations per one this <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> I mean I mean do we have any new resources that we can add on what she said? Um no, well, I was kind of <laughs> <laughs>
thousand people in.